When crossing the street, most of us will look left and right, twice at most. However, Timothy Warstall makes sure to look in multiple directions. I have to look behind. I have to look forward. I have to look sideways. Warstall is a Summerton resident who, like most people, goes out for his everyday needs. He has cerebral palsy and uses a cane to get around. Running errands is made all the more difficult because of the heavy traffic flow near the regional rail stop a block from his house. There is a heavy traffic volume, uh, continual speeding, and illegal parking <laughs> in addition to no sidewalks. Uh, making it very difficult for a pedestrian, any pedestrian, especially one in my situation to get around. Warstall says there's really no detour he can take. There is one way for a pedestrian to get in or out of this area. And these inconveniences cause Warstall to fear for his life. I only pretty much go out when I have to because I don't want to have to risk my life walking a block. Mary Beth Morgan, an independent living specialist with Liberty Resource, an advocacy group for those with disabilities, has worked closely with Warstall, helping him advocate for his needs in the community. I jumped right on the story or jumped right on the issue with him as Liberty Resources did, and we are working together to resolve the issue. And one Summerton Civic Association president, Chris Bordelon, was informed of the situation. He began reaching out through numerous emails to the neighborhood's councilman, Brian O'Neill, as well as district representatives and streets department officials. Bordelon and the Civic Association have backed Warstall's petition and proposal for a safer route for residents. This is a problem. Matter of fact, we have a proposal that looks to be something that the community could support. Um, but we didn't hear anything back. Warstall came up with a proposal to place delineator posts on the side of the road to create a path for pedestrians. However, any progress made has been delayed and pushed off by the response to the pandemic. But as they say, good things take time. Warstall received an email from the streets department saying delineator posts would be installed by the end of October. And they were on October 31st, bringing him a step closer to his goal. Justice for this community is what I'm trying to get. Reporting in Summerton for Philadelphia Neighborhoods, I'm Victoria Lucas.